previously on The Walking Dead. I can't even take care of myself. How am I supposed to raise a child? I wasn't truthful when I came across y'all at the Lodge. Now folks are dead, and I can't help but feel I'm to blame. <laughs> Fucker. No! No! Stop me! Kenny! Kenny! When you cover yourself in their smell, wrap the walker guts all over you. I can't tell you from one of them. You just have to keep calm and make sure you're good and covered. Go on. You don't need to see this. I'm not going anywhere.
we can stop for a moment, if you need to. No, no. I, I can rest when we're with the others. I can't rest now. Can't just stop. I need to make sure everyone else made it out. Luke, Sarah, Kenny. God damn it. What if they aren't there? If they aren't, nothing we can do about it. Don't even say things like that. Fine. Sorry. Jesus. I don't even know if we're safe. What if the herd is still following us? We're fine. It's been quiet, but who knows? We gotta keep going. We'll watch out for each other. So long as we keep up a good pace. I know, I know. Just, I'm going as fast as I can. I know I should feel glad that we escaped, but I just can't stop thinking about the others. How could I leave Alvin behind? It was stupid. What was? Escaping? Look, I know we all agreed to use the herd to get out, but maybe we should have been more patient. Come up with something better. It worked. If you can call that working, we could have... I don't know. The plan worked. We got out of there. Most of us. Look. I know that some of your people didn't make it, but Carver was crazy. Staying would have only prolonged the inevitable. I'm just saying that if people hadn't panicked, things might have turned out better. Of course! We panicked! We were scared! The plan was good. The execution was the messy part. That sounds an awful lot like you're saying it was their fault. What? No! No, that's not what I'm saying. Just... Ugh. I have to stop. I'm sorry. I don't want to slow us down. Can I just have a minute? Uh, yeah. Take a minute. Thank you. <laughs> Alvin was supposed to be here for this. Is Alvin... He's dead is what he is. Thanks to that fucking madman back there. Kenny might know what to do. He had a family. Let's hope he made it to the meetup point then. What are you going to do with it? What do you mean by that? Uh, sorry. Just making conversation. There was nothing. No. What do you mean by that? Do with what? My baby? I'm just looking at the worst case scenario. You and Clem won't be able to raise a baby by yourselves. Not out here. I just mean, it's going to need food, and, you know, other stuff. Yeah, and? And we'll look after it together. Even if that's the case, you can't always protect everyone. And you assume I won't be capable enough. Just because you're some angry loner who doesn't care about anyone but herself doesn't mean you know better than me. Hey, I've seen it before. Back when it started, me and my sister, we what? were- She died? I don't need your pity. You don't... You don't have the right... Jane! Shit, I didn't mean it. Shit. She didn't mean it. Right? Oh, damn it. I can't just sit here doing nothing. I know, I know. They'll be here soon. Holy shit. It had been so long, we were starting to worry no one else would make it. Well, besides. Now, hopefully we can figure out a plan. Rebecca might have the baby soon. She needs someplace safe to, to do that. Oh no. Soon? Soon? That's what it seems like. This memorial works fine as a meeting spot. No way we can stay here a long time. I told you. That's why we're waiting. And as soon as everyone else gets here, we'll figure something out. You wanted to leave without us? What? No. I wanted to go out and try to find him. Well, what does Kenny want to do? I tried to talk to Kenny. He flipped him off. He started yelling. Scary shit. I know. He probably didn't mean it. It was scary.
I've been nervous to even come near him. What? You think he's gonna shoot you? What he is right now? I don't know. Maybe. He's not acting rationally. He's just... he's not thinking straight. Somebody's got to do something. We can't just keep sitting here forever. I should go talk to him. This is my fault. Hey, you did what you felt was right. That's all anyone can do in that situation. Sarita, wherever you are, please forgive me. I can't be alone again. Hi, Kenny. You think I don't know what y'all are whispering about over there? What's wrong with Kenny? Why is Kenny acting that way? Do you think Kenny's okay? It's all I hear from anyone anymore. Kenny, I'm so sorry about Serena. Sorry, huh? Well, that's nice of you, seeing as this was your fault in the first place. There was nothing I could do. Seeing how things turned out, I think I might have preferred you do nothing. to save her. You think because you're a little girl, you can just get people killed and no one will care? That because you're sorry, it'll all magically go away? That's not how it works! Not for the last time. Just get the fuck out of here and leave me alone. I'm going crazy just sitting here not doing anything. Give it time, Mike. It's still early. Clem, how to go? And he's really mad at me. Clem, you can't just expect him to bounce back. That man's going through. At least you try. Still, it doesn't exactly help us figure out what we're gonna do now. We got no food, no water, it's getting damn cold, and we're losing daylight fast. When the others get back, they'll know what to do. Luke will have a plan. I thought Kenny would have a plan. Mike, honey. <sighs> Mike's got a point. You can't just keep sitting around waiting. Things are difficult enough right now, and soon you'll have a baby on your hands too. What, suddenly you're pretending to be concerned? Seeing you people floundering the minute things don't go according to plans just got me on edge, all right? Well, I don't exactly see you stepping up to help right now, either. We should go find Luke, Sarah, and Nick. If they're in trouble, we might be able to help them. Clementine's right. After everything, after all this, if there's any chance they're still alive, I'm going to take it. I'll go. Clem can come with me. Listen, Rebecca, if anything goes wrong here, you got something to protect yourself? I've got this. You don't think I'd need to. I don't know, but you better keep that close. Come on, Clem. Look, I'm gonna level with you. You should know that finding your friends, that's a shot in the dark. I don't know about that. We shouldn't give up before we've even looked. Okay, but I wanted to talk to you, away from them. You wouldn't have made it this far if you weren't smart, but I still, I just gotta warn you. That group is cracking. I've seen it before. And, well, a lot of times, 
It's better to be on your own. I know you see what I'm talking about. You don't want to be here when they start turning on each other, turning on you. They're not bad people, but there have been problems before. I don't always agree with what they say or do. Neither do I. Look at Kenny. I don't even know where to begin with what a liability he is. And Rebecca's situation is not making things better back there. You get enough broken people together, and all you're gonna get are broken decisions. Rebecca's just worried about her baby. I mean, wouldn't you be? I wouldn't bring a kid into this world. And like you said, it's her baby. Not mine, or yours. For what it's worth, I like most of the people in your crew. But groups fall apart. People get killed. Then why did you bring me with you? I'm just trying to give you the tools you need to make it, if you want to. Like your jacket. It looks warm, but a walker will bite right through that. My sister Jamie had a good leather one. Wish I still had it. You could have. Sister. <laughs> Seems we always want to talk about the end, don't we? You know, being a big sister is, well, it's funny. It's really easy to be mean. Oh? You know, hide her toys, make fun of her bad haircut, give her the bad haircut on purpose. I mean, I did put the gum there. I figured I should get it out. I don't even know why. Why would you even do that? What could I do? She thought I was her best friend. I couldn't go unpunished. <laughs> Every summer we'd go to this amusement park in Virginia. But the best part wasn't the rides. It was that nobody knew us there. And I'd, I'd pretend we weren't sisters. Just friends. <clears throat> Jackpot. But these walkers got some good stuff. Yeah, we should check them out. But you know why, right? Only because they're fresh. Take a look. Old walkers are a waste of time. They're holding credit cards and busted old pagers. But these ones weren't walkers all that long ago. They were survivors. They might have useful stuff. That one's not coming back. See what else he's got. I'll check this one. Smart haircut. Thanks. So, has your crew always been so dysfunctional? You fit in there, but you weren't like them. It makes me wonder. I've actually only been with them a little while. I don't know what it was like before I got there. But Kenny was different. I know that. Hold on to him. Ammo's getting hard to come by, and things aren't going to get better. Find anything? Driver's licenses. Two of them. Well, I guess some people just can't leave the past behind. That's it. A nail file. These things are great. Sharpen a blade, strike a flint. Jamie always had one in her purse. It jabbed my hand when I went reaching in.
You can never be too sure with these things. Here, give me a hand. These glasses, they're Sarah's. Looks like your friend didn't make it. Sorry. I don't know what to tell you. Sorry, Clem. All we know is that she was here. It could be a good sign. Don't go getting your hopes up. Look, Clem, I know what you want me to say, but... Get off! Shit! Okay, come on. We gotta find a way in. Looks like there's an opening over there. It's any easier, does it? Hasn't for me. That hatchet of yours seems to get stuck pretty easily. It's gonna get you killed. Here, use this. Very effective. We can do this. Sound too good. Clock is ticking. I'm ready. I know you are. We need to get a better look. How about you get the close one and I'll have the fence to get the other? Go for it. addition to your arsenal. Take out the knees first, then put a knife in the back of its head when it's down. All right, let's get a look at what we've got on deck. Guy's gonna have nothing on him, but it's worth taking a look when it's not too risky. Let's go. You did the knee thing. Nice trick, huh? Walkers. They looked up about something. And what? 
what gets the interest of the dead? People. How do we get in? If we can make enough noise on this side, we can lure those walkers over here. And we might just be able to go through that other trailer and get to your friends. What do you think of that? I mean, I'm just making it up as I go along. Let's make some noise. Right. What's going to grab their attention? I got you covered. Gotta move it. else though. Sarah, she's another story. I, I don't know what to do about her. What's the matter? You gotta help. Sarah, look. Look, it's Clem. See, it's just like I told you, that they're okay. Sarah, come on. We, we have to go now. Shit. Come on. We need to get out of here. Guys, we can't do this. We can't, we can't, we can't stay here. I don't know what to do. I can't snap her out of it. Okay, I tried to carry her, but I, I guess Carver messed me up pretty good back there. I don't know, it's just after Carlos, she just lost it. Started running through the woods like a maniac. I, I chased her for I don't know how long, and then 
All she saw this mobile home made a beeline right for. I'm just glad y'all are here. We're not out of the woods yet. What are we gonna do about her? We gotta do something. I just don't... Maybe she'll listen to me. Maybe. Listen, I, uh... They're gonna tear this place open pretty soon. We can't stay. So, we, we gotta get her up, or we gotta... Well, I've been trying. I've been trying for hours. I could barely get her to look at me. Clem? To the skylight! Now! Come on, I'll boost you! What's going on back there? My ribs. We're gonna need something to stand on. Luke, get over here! Help me hold this! Clem, see what you can find! Can we use this? It's not big enough! The fridge! Forget it! That thing ain't budging. Find something else. Can we use that? Yeah, that would work. What? Oh, shit. Okay, ready? On three. One, two, three! Go. Sarah. Come on. 
Uh, okay. Look, I hate to ask this, but are we there yet? <laughs> We're not far. Look, Sarah, you can get through this. We both will. But I'm not okay. Just try. Can you do that? She just needs a little time, Clem. Leave her be for a bit. I don't know about this. The way she is, she's gonna cause problems. What happened in there? When we went in there, you were ready to help, but then something changed. Look, I just... I'd seen that kind of thing before. I just didn't want to stick around for the bitter end. Sorry, I... I don't mean to sound harsh. It's just the way things are. It's okay, I get it. Things aren't always simple. And just because you got her out of there today, doesn't mean you saved her. Trust me. I tried to save Jamie too, but she gave up. I just, I can't believe it. As soon as you guys said go, I was the first one up on the road. Like I had already made up my mind. Luke, you can't let it eat away at you. Well, I can't forget it. I dragged my sister across four states. And every morning, she'd say she wasn't getting up. So I'd convince her, or push her, or goddamn carry her if I had to. Until this time, walkers cornered us, forced us up to the roof. And, and when they kept coming, I, I couldn't make her jump, couldn't throw her. So I tried something else. I told her she could have what she wanted. And I left her there. Jumped to the next building over by myself. You left your sister? How could you leave your sister? I don't... I don't know. It killed me for a long time. But I finally realized that I'd put her on a forced march through hell. When all she really wanted was for me to let her go. Sarah was that way too. Jane? No regard for her own safety. Or ours. Sarah and Jamie aren't the same person. We don't know if she'll end up like that. People don't change. Come on. Let's get back to your friends. Son of a bitch. You found him? Yeah, I'm a little amazed myself, to tell you the truth. If it weren't for Clem and Jane, well, I don't know what would have happened. Sarah, how you doing, hon? That's okay, sweetie. Whenever you're ready, I'm just glad you're here. But wait, wait. Where's Nick? Uh, Rebecca, how about we, uh, we go for a walk for a minute? Let's just give him some space. I have something I need to talk to you about, too. No. No. <laughs> I ain't gonna sugarcoat this. That baby's coming even faster than Rebecca's letting on. But I was hoping you might know, does Luke know anything about babies? Has he, I don't know, mentioned Carlos teaching him anything? Just in case? Kenny had a family. He could help. Where is he? He went in there after he left. Said he needed a minute by himself. I ain't seen him since. I don't think he's doing well. 
Uh, I'll go in there. Thank you, Clem. I really do think that might be best. We need your help, with Rebecca's baby. No one else knows what to do. You know what it feels like to get beaten almost to death. Peaceful. It feels peaceful. It was like I was floating away, watching the whole thing happen to me. And then I woke up again, and nothing's changed. I'm still taking a beating. Every day. Duck. Katya. Sarita. No peace. No rest. The punches just keep coming. Why the hell could Carver have just finished me off? Obviously, I ain't helping anyone by being here. That's not true. You help me all the time. I need you. Hmm. I've seen you take care of yourself more than any three adults put together. But, uh, thanks for saying that. Now, don't worry yourself about this. It's nothing. Hadn't killed me yet, anyway. Maybe one of the others can look at it for you. Oh, shit. Does that mean what I think it does? What are we supposed to do? We should see what's going on. Are you okay? How does it feel? It feels wet. That's how it feels. What's going on? Rebecca's water broke. Mm. Oh, Christ. We should... I don't know what we should do. Oh, fuck. Well, what do we do? Kenny, thank God. I think the baby's coming. What do we do? All right, all right. Give me a second. No way can Rebecca travel like this. He's right. She's gonna make a lot of noise. They'll be able to smell her, too. Now you got no choice but to lock down and ride it out. It hurts more than before. Is something wrong? Oh, God. What kind of stuff do babies need when they're being born? Kenny, come on, you gotta focus. Right, right, sorry. Clean water for one thing, and blankets. And we gotta get out of this damn cold, too. That map shows a couple of buildings nearby. Maybe one of them could do the trick. The museum seems like it could be a good start. I'll go. Good idea. Mike, think you can go with her? Sure thing. I'll check the building by the river. Okay, then. Kenny, you, uh, you stick with Rebecca, and I will check the perimeter for walkers. Sarah? Sarah? Just stay here with Rebecca and Kenny, okay? Clem. I know it must have been hard, but thank you for talking to Kenny. I'd love for you to give me and Mike a hand looking at the museum, but I was thinking, how do we know Jane ain't just gonna take off? Maybe you should go with her, make sure she comes back. What do you mean by that? You know, she doesn't seem to like being around people. She volunteered to head off awful fast. I guess it could be that. She's helped us so far. Yeah, no, oh, you're right. Maybe it's nothing. Just something to think about. Okay, we're looking for warm blankets, clean water, disinfectant. That all sound right? 
Don't worry. Everything's gonna be fine. Maybe I should go with Jay. Better hurry and catch up then. All right, everyone, you know what to do. Let's be fast, and let's be careful. Oh, hey. Hey. What are you doing? Getting lost in thought. Not the safest habit to have these days. Well, it's sometimes good to have someone watching your back. So, come on, partner. Let's go check out that deck. I like the height. You know, you don't seem okay. Huh? Well, yeah. But who is okay? Let's just focus on this right now. I hope this place is what we're looking for. God knows we could use a break. Check this out. This gate's still locked, which means that hopefully no one's gotten to whatever was locked in there in the first place. Who knows what could be in there? That could be a place for Rebecca to have the baby. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. Hmm, maybe I can pick the lock. The nail file? Versatility is not overrated. You know, uh, it wouldn't hurt to try a heavier hand at this thing. See if you can find something bigger. We might need to bust the mechanism. Do you think it'll be warmer in there? It's so cold out here. It'll keep the wind chill off at least. Better than nothing. Find anything? No, not even trash. Guess it's broken. You think this thing still works? <laughs> Check the muzzle, Napoleon. Oh. They fill them with cement so they're safe. Okay. Yeah. Ah, I think I almost had it. Keep looking.
There's some buildings across the river. I think I can see a church. The nearest river crossing is miles up. Rebecca wouldn't make it in her condition. Keep it in mind, though. Jane, there's someone coming toward us. Shit, shit, shit. He's coming this way. And who knows if he has friends nearby. I don't like having some stranger sneaking around, so I wish we could just make a break for it. But we should scope him out and see what he's up to. I don't like having some stranger sneaking around so close to the others. We've got enough on our plates with a baby coming. Last thing we need is someone telling their friends about the new easy targets in the neighborhood. Maybe I can try talking to him. Good call. Shit. Hide now. I just want to talk to you. Do you understand me? Yes. I am Arvo. I'm going to go. I don't want to shoot. I don't want to shoot anyone. Especially Malinka Devochka. Uh, a little girl. You don't have to shoot anyone. Just put the gun down. Back up. Put the bag down. Clem, make sure he doesn't have any other weapons in there. No, I have no more guns. I swear to we you. We just need to make sure you're not a threat. You drug. Clementine, hurry. Please, please. I have not heard Quiet. you. Quiet. I mean it. Anything? Whoa. That's a serious stash of meds. No, 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 no. Take whatever you want, but don't take the medicine. It's for my sister. My older sister, she's sick. The pain makes her cry, and that makes those things come. Please! This medicine is all she has. Is it just you and your sister? No. I have many friends. In the woods. Sister or not, we could really use that stuff. No! You are not nice people! You have already left me defenseless, and now you... You take my sister's medicine? You are worried. Hey! Ibatite. We've got people who are suffering. Who need this medicine? Luke's still a wreck after Carver's. Kenny's a mess. Rebecca's in pain. Look at all of it! Clementine, we need People that stuff! People are suffering just as much as yours. You are not special! Clementine, yes, you must We don't believe, believe a fucking word about your sick sister. Please don't make my sister suffer. She has been through enough. Oh, yeah? Well, I think you're just some junkie. You know what that word means, oh, huh? No, no, I'm, I'm telling the truth. I swear upon my own life. I don't believe any of this. Medicine, Clementine. Oh. No, no, no! You cannot take those from me! You're not taking them. I'm not robbing anybody. Just let him go. Pusha, thank you, Clementine. Thank you! believe I've gotten into this mess. Threatening some stupid kid? I thought you 
were gonna shoot him. Why? Did you want me to? Go get the others. I'm gonna get this place opened, and we need to get moved in ASAP. Observation deck? I was just checking on Rebecca and Kenny. They said they hadn't heard from them. I don't guess there'd be much, but Jane seems pretty resourceful. God knows we could use a break. Jane and I were trying to open the gift shop and a stranger showed up. What? Shit. This is the last thing we need right now. What happened? He had a bunch of medicine and stuff. Jane wanted to take it. Yeah? Did you? Well, glad you're okay. Is Jane still up there now? Yeah, she's trying to get the gift shop open. No, I can't figure her out. And she really lays it on the line, but at the same time, she doesn't show you anything that counts. I'm never quite sure if she just done like people, just played out there like me. She knows what she's doing. Yep. That's more than I can say for some. Jane seems like the kind of person who gets tempered by hardship, you know? But when I look at Kenny now, he just... He seems broken. Broken people get reckless. But you got a history with him. And I think he's a good guy. At least started as a good guy. But I just think he's had to take more than he can handle. Yeah. He always tries to do the right thing. The same anymore. I'm glad you see it too. I need to tell the others about the deck. Yeah, good. I will uh, I'll see you back there. supposed to be in labor yet, Kenny. What if something's wrong? Nothing's wrong. Babies know how to be born. Clementine. What'd you find? The building around back has an observation deck. Somewhere the baby will be safer? It's coming so much faster than I thought. I told you. You're getting yourself all worked up over nothing. There's a room up there that might be good for when Rebecca has the baby. Jane's trying to get it open. Sounds good. As soon as Mike and Bonnie are back, we'll go. Hey, Clem. Glad you made it back safe. How are you feeling? Scared and hurt. <laughs> I wish Alvin was here. Alvin was a good man, when no one else would help me. He gave me things to help with my arm. Bandages and a juice box. I should have known that Big Softy couldn't follow through on locking you in the shed. I don't think he wanted to anyway. I know it's a waste of time, but I can't stop thinking about things I should have said to him. Things I should have talked to him about. How am I ever going to do this without him? You're going to be a good mom. We sure have come a long way since we first met, huh? You're a good kid, Clementine. I'm glad you'll be there to watch out for this baby. Ah, oh shit. I got this. We ain't seen Mike or Bonnie in a while. And I'm not saying I don't trust them. But I'd appreciate it if you went and checked up on them. Yeah, go on ahead. I'll be fine.
she? Take off? Why do you think she'd take off? Oh, it's just a... a feeling. We found a place for Rebecca to have the baby. An observation deck with a gift shop. It's way up high and pretty safe from the wind. Oh, that's great. Just give me like ten more minutes to search around. He doesn't want to go back empty-handed. But I just want to help. Keep one eye on the woods while we're in here. I don't want nothing sneaking up on us. I watch this side, you watch the other. Here. Jane said these don't work anymore. Nah, they're just for show. Be handy. Also, really loud. Good point. Now, that's what matters most. Clem found a jacket. That's great, but uh, isn't Gray the, you know, uh, we can't put Rebecca in a Confederate coat. Oh, well, I didn't even think about that. I guess it's better than nothing. I don't like being near a graveyard with Nothing the world but the way it there. is now. Trust me, the way things are now, you're in a graveyard all the time. Yeah, true enough. Clean. That's just what we need. It's locked. You want to kick it down? That'd make an awful lot of noise. Yeah, maybe. You know, if somebody was small enough, they could maybe squeeze through that gap there. I could try to pry it open some more, but I don't know if that'll help much. No, I mean, maybe... All right, all right. I'll go. Thanks, Clem. Just open the door from the other side. Mike will carry those things out. Might be a bit heavy for you. I'm stuck. Okay. Maybe I push from... Happened. 
Jesus, Mary, and Joseph. Thanks, Mike. Yeah. No problem. I'm so sorry about that, Clementine. We should have been more careful. At least now we got something to bring back. I'll keep checking the other room. Let's get this water. Hey, I got this. That looks pretty heavy. Uh, that's all right. I know it looks like a lot, but we could all go through this pretty quick. Carver was crazy, but at least his shelves were always full. We're gonna have to be conservative as hell. We'll make a plan. Everyone will have enough. I hope so. That baby's gonna be hard on everyone, especially Rebecca. And between you and me, she's not looking too good. Hey, guys! Come on, stay close. Just walked on in like it owned the place. Figure it'd make a nice move. We can eat raccoon. I need the shit out of that raccoon. Not like, I mean, just, just that I'd be really happy to eat that raccoon. I'm starving. Fresh meat would go a long way with Rebecca. Shoot! Don't let it get away! Over here! Let's just get this back to Rebecca and the others. We don't have much time to waste. You're telling me your arms ain't tired? Nope. I could do this all day. No! No! Shit! Shit! Oh, God! Breathe no! like I told you. Okay. 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 Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh no! Oh. Stop! Stop! Oh. Clem! Clementine! Oh. Shit! Walkers! How did they get that close without anyone seeing them? That was Luke! Kenny, we've got to do something! You just keep that baby safe. Kenny! We can't stay here! Clementine, where's the place you and Jane found? I'll show you! Good. Someone help me out. Oh, God. There's so many. We, uh, uh, gotta get out of here. I'm not dying like this. Here they come. Mike, the water. On it. I've felt in a long time. 
I almost forgot what. Clementine! G Jesus, Clem, it's just not. Uh, we were just. Luke? It, it just happened. It, it, I wasn't. Uh... Uh... Wait, what's going on? In here. Let's get you comfortable. What the fuck are you two doing up here? Kenny! What's going on? We got God knows how many walkers out there, which you were supposed to be keeping an eye out for. Hey, hold on a second. Just tell me what's going on. What's going on is you're a reckless fucking moron. I'm reckless. You know, you got a lot of nerve, Kenny. Oh, God. Oh. Shit, is she, uh... Rebecca's having the baby. Now? No! Fuck. I'm sorry. Shit. Right over Shit. here. Uh. They're coming up the stairs. Here. We should... You want to help? Get out there and keep the walkers off us. I'll do this. I've been here before. They can't rush us on the stairs. Shoot them before they get to us. Shit, that's a lot. Of we need everyone out here. Stay out of the way, okay? I'm going outside. I'll help pull them back. Go. I've got Rebecca. Here they come. Here. We can't let them up here.
Hey, Clementine. Hey. How's he doing? He's perfect. He's a perfect little man. Who's the most perfect little man in the whole world? You are. That's right. You are. He looks like Alvin. You think so? Definitely. Thank you. <coughs> I'm fine. I'm fine. I just wish I could get warm. Clem. Why don't you give her that coat we found? Sorry, you know, about the color. You really think I care about that? Do you want to hold him? Could I? Of course. Your family. Here. Two years ago, I'm fine. Plus, somebody's got to watch you while Mama gets your beauty sleep. You never forget that smell. stick around and watch it happen to you too. You know the score. You're a smart kid. But I thought you believed in me. I do. But give it enough time and everyone's luck runs out. Listen, when the shit hits the fan, because it always does. Remember that you can make it on your own. It's not an option for everyone. If things start heading south, don't let them drag you down with them. You don't owe them anything. They'll make you feel like you do. Like it's all one happy family. But when push comes to shove, you'll see. I owe these people everything. They've kept me safe, looked out for me. I wouldn't be here without them. Well, they can't keep you safe forever. No one is safe forever. Take care of yourself. I mean that. Here. Versatility is not overrated. Thanks. Yeah. I, uh... I gotta go.
Hey, thought you'd be asleep by now. You okay? No. I guess we all got stuff on our minds. <sighs> Temperature's dropping. Low on food. I think we gotta stay put for a while. You know, for Rebecca and the baby. So I'm thinking as soon as it gets light, Jane and I should go explore. See if we can find some place to scavenge. What? Jane left. For good. What? When? Just now. Are you serious? She didn't say anything about leaving to me? What the fuck? Damn it! Hey, keep it down. Sorry. I'm sorry. Just... Jane's gone. Really? Luke? Of all the childish bullshit. Childish? God damn it, Jane. You know what? Just lay off. No. You put our lives, this baby's life at risk, so you two can roll around like fucking teenagers. I made a mistake, all right? No, it's not all right. What do you want from me? Luke didn't do anything wrong. Not now, Clem. Look, I'm sorry, okay? I fucked up. But you know what, Jane? She made an offer. And Jesus Christ, I needed him, okay? I mean, look around you, okay? Everything is shit. So forgive me for wanting to enjoy one moment of something else. Fine. But this baby, he's what matters now. Got it? So get your shit together. Where's my baby? Is everything all right? Everything is fine. We're gonna need a good place to raise him, which ain't here. We gotta push on. We head north, get to Wellington. That's our best shot. There's a town across the river. It might be safe there. Or at least it might be a good stop on the way. Kenny! I'm sorry. Clem's got a point. That could be a whole town full of supplies, and not that far from here. A whole lot better than here, anyway. Looks like that's our best bet. We need to get on the road as soon as possible. We leave at first light. Whoa, whoa. What are you talking about? <laughs> Rebecca needs rest. A few days at, at the least. We've got that baby formula. And won't help the rest of us. Now what about shelter? We'll freeze out here. Luke's right. She needs to rest. We should wait a few days. Maybe that's for the best. We don't want to push Rebecca too hard. Just give me a day or two, Kenny. I'll be fine. This is a mistake. Look, we should all try to get some sleep. It's been a long day. Exhausted. We all are. I can keep going. We should have left right away instead of waiting around. We could have found more food and been someplace warm days ago. We did the right thing. She was in no condition to move. She's worse now. We could still turn back. That's not an option. Everybody hang in there. We gotta keep moving if we're gonna make it to that town before nightfall. You don't even listen to anyone else. You just go on barking orders. You gotta lighten up, okay? You're pushing them too hard. I'm just doing what has to be done, like always. Keeping people alive. Kenny's right. We have to keep going. Yeah, I guess. But we were still right to wait as long as we did. Remember, you agreed with me on that. Ugh. Ugh. 
doesn't want you to take the baby. Don't be weird about it, okay? I ain't being weird about it. Yeah, you kind of have been. And not just right now. Kenny knows what he's doing. He's been a dad before. That's not the part I was concerned about. Hello? What is this? What's he want? He doesn't look like much. That ain't the point. Hello? Please? I don't like this. He has a sick sister. They might be in trouble. <sighs> All right. Hello. Your name is Clementine. Yes? Hi, Arvo. These are your friends? I'm hoping you can help me now, not like before. All of you can help. How is your sister doing? Sister? Not so good. I need, uh, uh things for... bandages. I need bandages. Are you hurt? Nikaki Arushi! Nikaki Arushi! Nikaki Arushi! Fuck! Это они? Да. Это они. Скажи им, чтобы они поставили их оружие на пол, и что мы забираем все, что они имеют. Что ты хочешь, чтобы я взял? Откуда я знаю? Чтобы у них не было. Может быть, у них есть патроны. What did your friend say? I told them you are the ones who robbed me. They think it's funny that you're just a little girl. Robbed? And they want you and your friends to put down the guns, so we can take your things. Whoa, whoa, hang on now. What the hell? You might get excited. Clementine, you robbed this guy? It wasn't me who took your stuff. It was Jane. It, it wasn't any of us. Jane? Where's the other woman? What's going on? It was two I do not see a woman who was with you. Where is she hiding? What's going on? She's gone. She left the group. It's a trap. I know it. Они прячутся. Я знаю, что они прячутся. Hey, hey, hey. This could be easy for you. Arvo, скажи, чтобы они опустили оружие. All of you, just put your guns down. This will be fine. Find my ass. Слушай, Arvo. Почему они не слушают? Я пытаюсь. Тогда старайся сильнее. If you put your guns down, we will too. Арва, что происходит здесь? You have a baby with you? У них грудничковый ребенок. Ты знаешь, что хорошо для тебя. Опусти оружие сейчас. И слишком много. Бурико, отойди. Drop that now or I'm gonna fucking shoot it. I'll do it. You don't even try it, motherfucker. I guarantee I'm a better shot than you are. I'll drop you both before you can blink. Everybody be cool. This doesn't have to go down like that. Don't kill you. Look, you don't look stupid. People just think about what it happens. We can work somewhere out. Don't make me do it! Look at me! Do you hear me? I will kill you if I have to! Rebecca, no! 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 